If you need me, I'll be downstairs. Thanks. Thank you. Well, Jenkins certainly had a great spot here for a Halloween party. Yeah, no self-respecting witch would bring a broom into this trap. report will probably show the usual number of needle marks. You know, if Jenkins had a big habit, that could account for a wheel man with his reputation piling into that rig on a routine job. Might need to fix pretty bad, lost his control, lost his coordination. You know, one thing bothers me, though. What's that? Why a well-organized operation would hire a junkie as a wheel man? You know, that could be the mistake that'll nail him, Ben. Folsom's full of mistakes. Let's crawl the rest of this place and then get out of here. I'm in favor of that. I wonder where that lab man is. He ought to be here by now. If this mark is in our file, they'll give us one more guy to talk to about Jenkins and his playmates. His laundry man. The relationship between Jenkins and a laundry man is purely coincidental. Well, there's a funny thing about this calendar. Two days are circling, one is yesterday. Yesterday? That's the day Jenkins got himself killed. And maybe he was psychic. What's the other? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, you suppose he was scheduled for a repeat in order to pick up another dope shipment for tomorrow? 901 just came over the air for you as we were driving up, Ben. Call your office. All right, thanks, Mari. Go over the whole place thoroughly and let me know if you come up with anything. Right. See you, Mark. Okay. Okay, we'll cover it. Coast Guard just found a John Doe in the bay. They're bringing the body in now. Dressed in a porter's uniform. Oh. He's one of the porters we saw in the lineup, all right. Sure, bet he's been murdered. They're eliminating each other, all right. But for every one you get rid of, there's two more ready and waiting. We're coming in now, sir. Would you mind extinguishing your cigarette? We're coming in now, sir. Would you fasten your seatbelts, please? Please fasten your seatbelts. Case. Oh. Julia, you take this whole business about the subjunctive. I don't know. All right, Dancer. All right, what's so difficult about the subjunctive? Well, you take this, for instance. If I was you, you know? Mm. That's all wrong. It says here, if I were you. How far can you go with this special stuff? It sets you up, Dancer. It, it sets you up. Remember that. How many characters you know hang around street corners can say, if I were you? How many, huh? If I were you. If I were you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. It's going to be a good day. Real good one, I can feel it. It's going to be a tight one, Julian. That's what it's going to be. In and out. No dancer. It's going to be a good one.
Uh, uh, look, are you a dancer? Who are you? I'm McLean, you know. Sandy McLean? I don't know any McLean. Look, you see, Jenkins got himself killed. So? So he's out. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Look, I brought the car along. Would you like to take a look at it? What car? The car we're going to use. How do you like it? How does he like what? The car. Who are you? He says McLean. What do you want? I'm your wheelman. Wheelman? Yeah, I'm going to drive you, you know, on the job. Job? Why, we're here to see the sights. What sights? What's the matter? You think I'm a cop or something? Why don't you call our people? Here, here. I'll call Chicago. Chicago? Now, wait a minute. I was told you guys were from Miami. Yeah, you know, I could believe it with them tans. You got a lucky sense of geography, my friend. Maybe. Why don't you give us a name? Lasky? Lasky sent you. OK. I don't like the car. I like my wheels stored in a prepared drop. I like them kept under cover till I'm ready. I want my plates snatched not more than one hour before I move. Return it. It's too new. Look, you don't get it. You see, I rented this car with a fake set of credit cards, a phony driver's license. And I fix it up all by myself so nobody's going to catch us. Because she's so souped up, nobody can catch us. Maybe the clerk will remember you. Nah, chance in a thousand. It's one chance too many. It's your mug in the lineup, not ours, if you get caught. We got a cool car for a change. I'd like to meet our employer. This spread, all rented. No check-in, no luggage, no bellhops remembering how much you tipped them. That's sharp. I got your money. You gonna count it? Dancer never counts. Nobody ever gave us a short count yet. Well, it, it could be the porter who stole my bag. Are you sure? Well, I hate to say yes and then find that the man who was responsible was still at large. Yes, yeah, sure. Would it help your memory at all to know if the fingerprints we found in your grip match the fingerprints of that man in there? Do they? They do. Well, then, I guess that's it. Yes, he does look like the man at that. Who was he? Hmm? Name's Blinky Sims. Has a long record with the FBI. How was he killed? Someone gave him a shot that was hot. Huh? If Blinky was on heroin, he was probably promised a fix for stealing your bag. Instead, he got a hot shot, a deadly poison injected directly into the bloodstream. Well, thanks very much for coming down, Mr. Dressler. This has all been quite upsetting, gentlemen, but if you need me for anything else, please call me. Mm -hmm. I don't like Mr. Philip Dressler. He's too smooth. Well, like him or not, he's clean as a plaster saint as far as we're concerned right now. 